Hello everyone, I'm Dashis and here I'm gonna speak about climate change. So most of you have heard my previous presentation which was on global warming. So this is a relation of global warming and climate change. So let's look up what's this climate change. Climate change is the defining issue of our time and we are not a defining movement. From shifting water patterns that threaten food production to rising sea levels and increase the risk of catastrophic flooding, the impacts of climate change are global in scope and unprecedented in scale. Without drastic action today, adapting to these impacts in the future will be more difficult and costly. Okay, so what are the causes? Scientists attribute the global warming trend observed since the mid 20th century to the human expansion of the greenhouse effect, warming that results when the atmosphere traps heat radiation from Earth throughout towards space. Certain gases in the atmosphere block heat from escaping. Long lived gases that remain semi permanently in the atmosphere and do not respond physically or chemically to changes in temperature are described as forcing climate change. Gases such as water vapor, which respond physically or chemically to changes in temperature, are seen as feedbacks. Okay, gases that contribute to the greenhouse effect include nitrous oxide, water vapor, methane, carbon dioxide. If you want to say them in small forms, they are known as N2O, H2O, CH4, and CO2. Okay, water vapor. We're gonna look into them particularly. So first, water vapor, the most abundant greenhouse gas, but importantly, it acts as a feedback to the climate. Water vapor increases as the Earth's atmosphere warms, but so does the possibility of clouds and precipitation making this some of the most important feedback mechanisms to the greenhouse effect. Carbon dioxide, CO2, a minor but very important component of atmosphere. Carbon dioxide is real released through natural processes such as respiration and volcanic eruptions and through human activities such as deforestation, land use changes and burning fossil fuels. Humans have increased atmospheric CO2 concentration by more than a third since the Industrial Revolution began. This is the most important long-lived forcing of climate change. Okay, methane, CH4, a hydrocarbon gas produced both through natural sources and human activities, including the decomposition of waste in landfills, agriculture, and especially rice cultivation, as well as ruminant digestion and manure management associated with domestic livestock on a molecule-for-molecule -molecule basis. Methane is a far more active greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide, but also one which is much less abundant in the atmosphere. Nitrous oxide, a powerful greenhouse gas produced by soil cultivation practices, especially the use of commercial organic fertilizers, fossil fuel, combustion, nit nitric acid production, and biomass burning. Chlor chlorofluorocarbon CFCS Synthetic compounds entirely of industrial origin used in a number of applications but now largely regulated in production and released to the atmosphere by international agreement for their ability to contribute to destruction of the ozone layer. There are also greenhouse gases. Human activities influencing climate change on Earth, human activities are changing the natural greenhouse over the last century. The burning of fossil fuels like coal and oil 
has increased the concentration of atmospheric carbon dioxide CO2. And this happens because the coal or oil burning process combines carbon with oxygen in the air to make CO2. To a lesser extent, the clearing of land for agriculture, industry, and other human activities has increased concentrations of greenhouse gases. Consequences On average, Earth will become warmer. Some regions may welcome warmer temperatures, but others may not. Warmer conditions will probably lead to more evaporation and precipitation overall, but individual regions will vary some becoming wetter and others drier. Okay, there are more consequences. A stronger greenhouse effect will warm the oceans and partially melt great glaciers and other ice. Increasing sea level. Ocean water also will expand if it warms, contributing further to sea level rise. Crops and other plants may respond favorably to increase atmospheric CO2, growing more vigorously and using water more efficiently. At the same time, higher temperatures and shifting climate patterns may change the areas where crops grow best and affect the makeup of natural plant communities. The Role of Human Activity Fifth Assessment Report of Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change IPCC, a group of 1300 independent scientific experts from countries all over the world under the auspicious of the United Nations, concluded there, there is more than 95% probability that human activities over the past 50 years have warmed our planet. Okay, the role of human activity again. The industrial activities that are more than civilization depends upon have raised atmospheric carbon dioxide levels from 280 parts per million to 412 parts per million in the last 150 years. The panel also concluded there is a better than 95% probability that human produced greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide have caused much of the observed increase in Earth's temperatures over the past 50 years. Now, after the causes, we come to effects. Scientists have high confidence that global temperatures will continue to rise for decades to come, largely due to greenhouse gases produced by human activities. Forecast a temperature rise of 2.5 to 10 degrees Fahrenheit over the next century. According to the IPCC, the extent of climate change effects on individual regions will vary over time and with the ability of different social and environmental systems to mi migrate or adapt to change. The IPCC predicts that increases in global mean temperature of less than 1.8 to 5.4 degrees Fahrenheit. 1 to 3 degrees Celsius, both 1990 levels will produce beneficial impacts in some regions and harmful ones in others. Net and annual cost will increase over time as global temperatures increases. So thank you very much for listening to my third presentation. I always give the presentations on every Sunday so you may look out. And thank you very much. Let's stay united.